Set up because they're um, being slow. Carter's usually slow when he's playing. <laughs> uh, only Carter's slow. Oh my god, we might have another round one Zorg Mark Cargo deck. Looks like it. Zorg's a pretty popular dude. And then Ink. Is that NK? Yeah, it could be. Um, I think it's in the Crossmo. Regular Necrozma. Oh, Necrozma, a.k.a. Gurgloth the Destroyer. <laughs> uh, so, I'm, Mysterious Treasure. I'm hoping we get a Gurgle on the field. Uh, hopefully getting a Lele Bridget. No, no, NK. I, 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 I think he doesn't play the Bridget. I don't know. but I, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, Carter. Carter, come on, man. Come on, man. Get it out. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Slugger versus Ultra MP. Ball. Ultra Ball. What's he going to pick out from that? A Hoopa. Hoopa doopa doopity doo. What does the hoopa do for you? So for one colorless, it does 20 to two of um, your opponent's Pokemon. And then three psychic energies, I think it does 100. And it can't use Porter Strike again. Oh, okay. Uh, well, it can't use it next turn. Gotcha. Well, it looks like that's Cynthia. They are doing a good job jostling around their cards. I know. It's Carter. <laughs> well, attaches the energy to Hoopa and passes. No. Ooh, red card. Red card. Red card, nice. shuffle your hand into your deck, draw four. So it's similar to Judge. Yeah. But you don't have to shuffle. Your opponent does. It's super cool with Delinquent. So basically, four cards, Delinquent, and he only has one card in hand. And then he bridges, gets three zeros. I have not seen a Ranguru on either of these sides, so we may have another deck out game. No, I I think I I heard Carter's playing the Ranguru. Okay, then Carter's in a better spot right now. Cause um he's put I think he's playing the same list it as looks Connor. Like he has a bench too. I think he's playing the same list as Connor. Well, I put bench in quotes. It looks like <laughs> looks like we have three snuggling Zeruas. Yeah. Chilling. Oof. Nest ball. Go on and grab you a basic. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if this gives you another NK. NK, Tapu Lele. Well, you don't want Tapu Lele Gurgle off a of nest ball. You don't want um, Lele off a of nest ball. Oh, yeah, because you got to play it from your hands. Yep. Wouldn't be surprised if a Dawn Wings, though. I forgot he plays that. Is that the Gurgloth? Is that Necrozma? Yeah, that's yeah. Necrozma. Apologies in advance. I only know Necrozma as Gurgaloth, so. <laughs> so Necrozma for three colorless. Um, you For each psychic you discard, it does uh, 10 plus si 60. So it sounds like. It's a good card, but you need to have a lot of recycle. That's what um, Malamar does. Malamar, um, bring a psychic uh, energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. There you go. 
All right, so we have a pretty good idea of what his deck is, and we've seen the Slugma uh, Zerua combination before, or the Mag Cargo Zoroark combination before, so that's fine. But, uh. <laughs> well. Well, last round, uh, Seth beat um, Connor. It looks like. It looks like the Krozma is GX ability, though. It does 100 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon GX and Pokemon EX. GX attack, that's what it does. Yep. Yep. So that will hit the bench, and that will hit the Zoroarks. Mm hmm It's funny because, like, Buzz Wolver stuff, um, it will hit weakness. It will do 200 to the active, and then... I thought I said it wasn't. 100 to everything. I think, it's weak I think it adds weakness. If I'm not mistaken. I'm checking it up. Uh, I think uh, Carter traded twice. Put it in. It does no damage. Uh, it does 100 damage to each of the Pokemon's GX and EX. It's not affected by weakness or resistance. Okay, okay. So I was so wrong. if they're My active... Fault. If they're active as a GX or EX, it does 100 to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My fault. I thought it did added weakness. And that's why we call him Gurgloth the Destroyer. <laughs> so, um, let's see what Carter does. Gets another Zorart. That's good. Because he already used two trades. He has another one. So if you can get the um, Marcargo out with the ability, he's in a good place. And this is your game... A gamely reminder that when you trade in with Zoroark, you take two cards out of your deck each time. You got to find a way to recycle those of your deck and out real fast. So when you play Zoroark, you need to be aggressive or you need to be able to recycle. <laughs> Carter will not stop it with that freaking. <laughs> I'm just going to give up on that. Only Carter, only Carter. He's funny at um, League 2, Carter. I said funny. <laughs> okay, let's keep the language to a minimum, guys. Oh, gosh. Hoopa and Slugma on the field. So I think getting more energy. If Seth has a Guzma, I think, I think Seth, ha if Seth has a Guzma, he can take out. Um, oh, no, never mind. I was about to say, I think he could have took a knockout on one of the Zorks. 6, 12, 18, right now 19, in the Krasma, 20, 21. It's going to hit his bench real hard. Yeah. I wouldn't even be surprised if he goes for the GX attack right here. I wouldn't either. That's what I would do. But I'm not good at this game, so. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> I wish I was good. <laughs> I wish I was loved. Anyway. See, I just aged. <laughs> I just aged, I just aged up the masters. I, I, I don't. Ugh. So, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a GX attack here. Wouldn't be surprised at all. Looks like he just got end. Floatstone. Floatstone. It's going to be rotated out with the rotation. People are going to miss that a lot. Uh, funny moments, funny moments. Hashtag funny moments compilation. Watch this man slide a float stone under his active. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh in amazement. <sighs> and there it goes. GX attack. And here it comes. 100 to every GX. 100 to every GX. Except on his field. Yeah. Why does he have a sideways? Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's see what. Now, this is where Carter pulls out the niche Xerneas GX that he has in his deck and uses his GX attack to put all the counters on his opponents. That would be funny. But he doesn't play it. The ultimate counterplay. Parallel. Parallel. That kills um, Seth's Press deck. F to pay respects. Say goodbye to almost half your bench. <laughs> 
I think he did the correct play of discarding the NK and the Necrozma without energies on it. Yeah, he's got backups. Uh, we all know. Um, I think, okay, Carter traded three times. Still hasn't found that Mark Cargo. Or the Xerneas. Stop it with the Xerneas. <laughs> <laughs> that was last round, Rob. You you laugh until he plays the Xerneas, and then he puts thirty until he puts three hundred and sixty damage on his opponent. Oh, no. <laughs> So, I'm going to plug somebody. Go check out the Garbroder's um, merch on uh, whatever link. I have to find out. But Get um, that link and then plug it, man. Yep, I know. I'm done. <laughs> oh, go check out on Teespring. That's what it is. There we go. Garbroder's merch. Three days to get it. I think he said it was, what, $15 for a t-shirt and everything? Looks like it. There's yep. a screen above us that's saying 15 Yep. I'll, like, double-click on the image to make it blue. You guys want some of this? Yeah. Oh, sure. No, no, no. Yeah, gamer goo. That's all you need. Shoot your goo, my dude. Thank you. Wow. Uh, Okay. All right, we missed quite a bit while we were being good. So he got the more cargo. That's oh, he good. has the med cargo. That's good. I think he double crushing hammer and got two energies off. Oh, we missed the double crushing hammer. Uh, the price we pay for delicious top grade goo. Right. Ah. <laughs> uh. My okay. hands smell like oranges now. Um. I think Seth just has a mysterious treasure in hand. <laughs> he showed it to everyone. <laughs> oh, gosh, Seth. Hey, I didn't say what he was saying. He, I, he showed everyone. So he just passes. If Classic Seth, move. If Seth has a Malamar Guzma, I mean, not Malamar, um, Hoopa. Oh, oh, yeah, this is a good play. Guzma this is a good play. Time. Take out the trash. And just double second recharge. And just take the knockout. Yep. That's a good play. That is a good play. That's two stretcher shuffle three. I think he's doing. It's good. That's good. Things are looking pretty dire on Carter's side of the field. He's got a ridiculous amount of damage thanks to that GX attack. Meanwhile, on Seth's side of the field, he's yet to be hit. Yeah. Well, I'm. S he's playing very smart because he hasn't played the Dawn Wings down yet. And it's weak to dark, so it's kind of. He's playing it smart, not benching that. Well, now he got the Mew, so. It's hitting for weakness now. Yeah, that's all you need. Weakness is very brutal in this game. Yeah. For a while, they were just saying plus 30, but then they brought it back to two times. And <laughs> it's gotten crazy. Uh. Were you there for the terrible days of resistance half? No, I wasn't. Resistance half, weakness plus 30. Those were good times. I bet it was. bet it was. Well, I I heard it was just um sometimes. Weak, wasn't weakness like plus two or something back in the day? No, weakness was always times two back in the day. Okay. 
And then they changed it to uh, plus 30 for amount of time, and then they brought it back to times two. Did not know that. Learn new things every day. Guzma bringing him back out. Yep, Malamar. Good play by um, Carter. Malamar is about to get dunked on. Trade once. Good play by him. <laughs> Good play. Now um, sets only down to one. Psych um, psycho fee charge. <laughs> um, trades too. Yep, that's a good play. Uh, he's taking this knockout, no doubt about it. Yeah, we're just waiting for the inevitable here. Yep. This is better now, than does he Ninja. Stick out the hoopa? He does. He does stick out the hoopa. This is better than Ninja. This is better than Ninja. Says Garbroders. I wonder if that's a biased viewer. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, Mysterious Treasure, what do you think he's going to get with this? Um, If he can get some way of energy removal, that could help him out a bunch. I think he just goes NK. And gets he it. could go NK. Oh, Lele. Is Parallel still up? No. And the Sycamore. Okay. I like this play because then he can just Sycamore and get more um, NKs. You got to watch the deck. You get too crazy with this stuff. You end up losing your deck. He drops the mysterious treasure in his lap. Uh. No mysterious treasure. NK. No doubt about it. You're right. That's an NK. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> what? He's going to find it either way. Well, yeah, I was going to get it anyway, but, like, Charlie's, like, like, I could hear Charlie saying the whole time, oh, he's got to get the NK. Oh, Sycamore is away his hand, gets seven out of his deck. He really, didn't, he really didn't have a hand. Uh, Sycamore away. <laughs> Still taking seven out of his deck, though. Yeah, true. He doesn't look to be too much in trouble from that, though. He's not running Zorar. yep. All right, it looks like he passed. No, oh, no. second passed? recharge. Second recharge. And then. Yep, use his first attack just to spread damage. Carter. Instead of playing the game, deciding to make various gestures on stream. Okay. Uses more cargo's ability. My cargo sticking up to the top. Mm-hmm. Well, uh. Okay. It looked like he was going to change his mind about it, but... His deck is getting very small. Those Zoroarks are going to start hurting him. Still has the Rangaroo. He is having some kind of fit. <laughs> That's his first trade. That's his second trade. Ooh...
Just trying um, to figure out what to do now. It's yeah. Just fiddling with the sands. There we go. We're going to get that on the field now. I like this play, taking the knockout. And Max Posh. Tree with DC. Max Posh and attach DC with to what, Mew. Yes. What did he roll for? I don't, I don't think he rolled. I think he was just moving the dice. Gotcha. Rescue Stretcher. Just get the other Pokemon back in his deck, I believe. Looks like three Zeruas. I mean, two Zeru um, one Zerua and two Zoarts. Looks like this man. Oh, he got the Orangaroo. He got the Orangaroo. I've been saying this since the beginning of the tournament. You got to get the Orangaroo. <laughs> else you're going to deck yourself out. <laughs> oh, I love the Orangaroo. I love it. He Orangaroo on me. <laughs> so he's getting six from this Cynthia. Another Max Potion. Really, that Black Raid didn't do anything. And he's taking two prizes. Goodbye, Gurgula. And Tapalele is hitting the field, likely as a meat shield. Yeah. See what he can do here. Energy onto the Lele. Well, he still has to retreat. <laughs> now, he didn't have to stick the Lele out there in the first place, though. So if he was just going to switch it out. I would have went, I would've went to, into the Hoopa. I'm very interested to see what he's doing from here because this is a very strange way. Yeah. Will you stop? <laughs> <laughs> Only Carter. <laughs> Only Carter. <laughs> Only Carter. <laughs> is getting jacked. Well, Hoopa can take one. He can take a knockout on this Mew. It's yep. going to be buff boy Hoopa coming out to play. Yep. Takes a knockout on the Mew EX. He's down to two prizes. Two to three. Carter is thinking about what to stick out next. Yeah. He could stick out an EX, but if that gets taken down, he's done. Or he could stick out a Ranguru. Or Mag Cargo, and he would have two Pokemon that need to be KO'd. Granted, this has been a very Switch heavy deck, so if the other person has a Guzma, it doesn't even matter. Yeah. Um. Trade one, trades the Enhanced Hammer, really doesn't need it because. Malamar doesn't play special energies. And his deck is probably going to stay around that size for the rest of the game, thanks to the Oranguru and the Rescue Stretchers. Yeah. Um, use Mark Cargo's ability. Can you Rescue Stretcher, Rescue Stretchers? Rescue Stretchers puts three Pokemon back. Three Pokemon back, okay. And then you can Oranguru for the Rescue Stretchers yeah. to get the Pokemon back and keep doing that. So he gets nine cards out of every... Yeah. He gets 12 cards, really, out of every um, Oranguru resource management. So that's, that's I, I imagine that's what he's going to be putting yep, back. Yep, it looks like resource management. <laughs> resource management, little known. Best attack in the game. Yeah. Why would you be fighting Pokemon when you could be doing personal finances? <laughs> uh. It probably requires less reading. Yeah. And it looks like he is grabbing. I don't think he even knows what he's grabbing. Nope. Two puzzles and a parallel city. That's not bad. Not bad, but he, he must either have another Angrew or have faith that this one's going to live. 
Well, I mean, Seth can't attack with uh, poor uh, that Hoopa. You're right. He can't use the move. If he switches it out and then switches it back in, does it count as the same Hoopa? Like, can he yes, use the but the uh, effect resets. Okay. Everything resets. So he could use it again if he could switch yeah. twice. Which, if he doesn't have a float stone, would be devastating to energy. But who knows? If he well, has I mean, a that psychic recharge is good. Yeah. I like this play by Seth. Just chucking some counters on the EXs. Looks like Seth is going to try to take some damage onto those EXs so that he can later switch them out and take them out for the last two prize cards. GX. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Uh, Second trade in for the turn for Carter. Now does he resource management again or does he switch and try to get offensive since Hoop is just going to be poking away at his back line? I don't know. See what he does. He's thinking about it. Yeah. He's thinking about it a he's lot. He's talking himself into it. He's looking at his discard pile. He's going, hey, wouldn't it be great if all these are in my deck and or my hands? <laughs> Man, look at all the beautiful stuff in here. Man. You're not I, wrong. I, I wish I was playing these cards You're right now. You're not wrong. Look at them. You can just see it. You can see him talking himself into it. He's like, who needs damage when I could be just sticking this stuff in my hand? Right. Oh, now he's switching stuff around. Could he be going for another resource management? He might be going for another resource management. No, double puzzle. Okay. I like this play a lot. Yep. Now, yeah. double puzzle does not take away the possibility of managing resources. He can still manage his resources, although I don't think know why he'd capture out. Yeah, I like this play a lot. I really like this play by him. Carter shuffling his hand back in to draw two, unlike our previous players featured. Carter does I th I not seem to have. Carter's drawing three. Seth's drawing two. Oh, sorry. I got them switched up. Seth is drawing two. Yeah. Carter's drawing three. Unlike previous players, Seth does not have ways to reemplish his hand. So this is actually pretty devastating for him. But look at, look at Seth's deck. His hand is like full. almost two quarters away. Both decks are getting smaller, and it looks like he is going to retreat. Resource management is not in our future for this turn. I like this play. Big hit on the oh. Krasma. I almost called him Gurgaloth again. Uh, okay. See what that does. It smells like orange. Come on. Smell the game Let's see what Seth does. Seth is in a bit of a conundrum. He's actually in a good spot. His field is good, but he I'm doesn't not, have I'm a lot gonna, of options. I'm not going to say what he can do. I say it, but... Yep. Up. He got lucky. He got a Guzma. Well. Yep. He is just charging up. Oh, no, he, yeah, 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 he's doing it right. I, I did the math wrong. Yo, you thought he could KO him? Yeah, but I forgot Zork resistance to Psychic. Eh, he needed a choice band or a Kukui, he probably would have been fine. Yep. Oh, and, well. Carter has announced that he has good times Guzma in hand, and things are looking his way. <laughs> well, he has to, he, he just has to hope that um, Seth doesn't have a Guzma. I don't know if Seth's going to have the opportunity to play another Guzma. I think. Oh, wait, yeah, he has three, he has three prize cards. Yeah. yeah Seth's going to get another turn.
Looks like it's trade-ins. Yeah. Puzzle of time. Going to grab two from his drop area. I don't know what he's going to pick, though. Looks like he's good for energy. He might grab a colorless and something else so that he can stick the colorless on the Zoroark on the field. These games take forever. <laughs> nah, he's just, he, he's just perusing his options. Yeah, a lot. This is a tournament for a cash prize, so it's not out of the way. I think, I think they, um, first place is getting $50. First place is getting $50. Second place is getting 45 I don't think so. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't good prize support. And then uh, third and fourth get, um, third gets 25 and then uh, fourth gets 15 All right, so top four, good prize support. And then uh, top eight just gets T-shirts. Top eight gets T-shirts. Who won? I won game one. Carter won game, game they one. They scoop it up, giving Carter the game one. Looks like he is playing Terraria. So what do you think um, Seth has to do right here to at least tie it? I think Seth needs to be as aggressive as possible. Yeah. There's a lot of setup on Carter's side that he had to do. Yeah. Uh, that pickle man. Just ignore him. He's here. He's, he's literally the guy sitting two feet to our right. Yes. Yes. Uh. My man Arangru hitting the field early. Met okay. by Necrozma, aka Gurgaloth. Nest ball. Oh, he didn't grab a mulligan card, so he's going to grab his mulligan card, then search for the nest ball. Well, I mean, it, it really don't matter because the nest ball would be his mulligan card, and then he would draw the other card. Yeah, for turn. So it's nice when you see the Hoopa. It's nice to do damage to things on the bench. But at the end of the day, that's only 40 damage each. Yeah. Those things are going to be forced out anyway if you do 100 damage to this thing in active mode. Mm -hmm. The main objective of being aggressive is just to stick as many damage counters on the field as possible. Sure, max potion exists. That can be unfun, but I like how he you gotta went take that risk. I like how he went for the two NKs instead of the hoopa right there. I like the NKs more than the hoopa. I like being able to get those yeah. um, Malamars out and just start charging things up. Yeah. Oh, and he's he's sticking on the float stone already. See how this end does, Carter. I swear to God, I played four bridges, four ultra balls, and three lay lays, and I can't have four cards. Dude, I played four ultra ball, four treasure, and three nest ball, and I keep whipping them. <laughs> like, it doesn't just happen. N is gonna. Was that N played? Yes. It looks like it was played. Both are gonna be drawn six. Okay, that hand. Yeah, um, look at look at the look at the um hand from Seth. <laughs> that hand is bad for Seth. Malamar is a very weak attacker, so he needs to take care of his necrozma. Malamar can do 60 for three, which is not good stat line. Okay, Carter got a um, supporter. I didn't, I didn't know if Carter would got a supporter. I didn't see a supporter in Carter's hand, so I guess he top decked it or he just was hiding it. We also don't have the best viewpoint to the player's hands. Yeah, true. I'm very curious about what that Magikarp is doing on the field. It seems like it's, it's GX token. Yeah, it's just a GX counter. I think I, the other side's a... Um, I, I said that, Gyarados. but then I'm looking at the counters. I think it's just a Gyarados. Parallel City. Welcome to the Parallel City. 
And say goodbye to the parallel city taken down by a mere leaf blower. <laughs> leaf blower. <laughs> uh, funny, funny. Hypnosis. Tails. <laughs> Hypnosis fail. Uh, there's his art. Parallel. Welcome again to the parallel city. Uh, trade. DCE. Oh, he Guzma the NK. That's good. Uh, welcome to the parallel city where your hand is useless and Guzma's pretty. Really limited in those options. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Let's see how this goes. He only has two things on the bench. So right now it's not a very, very threatening Zoroark. Yeah. It is a Zoroark, though. Rask, you stretcher? <laughs> Seth seemingly having terrible luck. Trades. Evo Soda. Oh, we got the Evo Soda. Say hello to Mag Cargo. <laughs> uh, what? DC is clumped. Hmm? His DCs were clumped. A show of good faith. Both players are just showing each other their heads. I think. I think. I think it's just a friendly match. Uh, it match. looks like Seth has a good times Guzma in hand. <laughs> <laughs> kind of blowing the surprise factor of Guzma by showing it to his opponent. Well, the funny part is, is yeah, and just knock the NKs out. Yeah. All right, takes out the NK, switches it out with Guzma, float stones. He gets the Mad Cargo out with Guzma. Yeah. Float stones it back for the Zoroark. Zoroark kills the thing he guzma out. E.K. E.K. <laughs> the thing. And now Guzma is back with a vengeance. E.K. has hit the field, uh -oh. ready to avenge his fallen brother. <laughs> Trade. Oh, Zerua. Looks like we're going to get a second trade pretty soon. I'm, su I'm surprised that um, Carter didn't use Mark Cargo's ability before he traded. Well, we never accused him of being smart. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's grab those two things from the discard pile. Yep, I like that. Guzma and a Tapalele to search out another supporter. Yep, I like that play a lot. Fun fact, Tapalele does indeed bring all the boys to the yard. Uh, he put the Cynthia in his discard pile that he got from Lele. I think he yeah, I, I, fi I fixed that real quick. Hey, hey. Hey, you put Cynthia from your Lele. Oh. Right uh, under the end. Thank you. All right. All right, I fixed it. All right, game state has been fixed. Yep. He did put the Cynthia from his discard pile back into his hands. Yep. He just, he just put it in there by mistake. He does that. As I said, we never accused him of being smart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he takes the knockout on the um, Malamar. His bench is looking pretty small. Yep. Psychic energy, yay. Second energy <laughs> on his necrozma. <laughs> uh. And he passes, not having a bunch of luck. Trade. Trading in the Bridget. Smooth over Mark Cargo's ability. I think he's going to do. Oh, he sent the is. Never mind. <laughs> uh, 
Zuru on the bench going to boost that riotous beatings effect. Uh, 20 more damage. Yep, he smoothed over. He's just showing his opponent. He's, he's like, <laughs> trade for those. <laughs> Seth is pleading for death. <laughs> oh, didn't hit the crushing hammer. What is this? Sticking what is another it? double colorless <laughs> on the Zoroark. The BM is strong uh, with this one. 120. This is funny. And Carter tells Seth to draw his last pathetic card. Oh. Oh, <laughs> uh, we have an almost game. Psychic recharge onto the Malamar. Oh, 100 to everything. Yep. 100 damage to all the GXs. I think this game is just over. I don't think uh, what's it, uh, Seth can come back from this. I think it's possible, but very unlikely. Trade. Trade it up. Ace Trade Alola. it up. Now he has two more trades. <laughs> Max Potion. <laughs> And it's almost, like that G it's almost like that GX attack didn't even happen, except for a very crippled Tapalele. DCE. Knockout. Knockout on Necrozma, most likely incoming. Yep, there it goes. Grab uh, your two cards. Yeah, this, this game is just over. <laughs> uh, we already did. We already did. We're just ignoring him. Uh, well, I mean, he has a Hoopa. He does have a hoopa. I, 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 I just say this is over for Seth. He's pulling out a Ranguru. The Chad a Ranguru. Yeah, but Carter, I think Carter just has the uh, DCE. Because you remember when he ace a roller with the two um, DCEs on the Zor. Uh Yeah. Because he's just going to play around. I think he's just going to mess around with Seth a little bit. Yeah, he just end out. <laughs> Plays in. This is actually the last match. Timeout. Okay, I'm still not seeing player dropping that. I'm just adding it back. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I think we have. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, we Carter missed wins. that. Well, I mean, yeah, the rest of the game is now. Yeah. The game is over. We're out of time. Yeah, uh, Carter, I think. Uh, I'll slap Carter later. But for now. I think, I think yeah, uh, Carter doesn't win that game. Seth, Seth wins. Wait, what? Yeah, because he, uh, Carter misplayed. <laughs> Carter shuffled. <laughs> All right, roll it then. Carter loses. Court, uh, <laughs> Seth wins. Seth wins. Hold on, hold on. Seth wins. <laughs> oh gosh. It's just a game loss, though. Uh, it's just a game loss. So we're both two away. Hold on. Okay, so we tied. Okay, so tied. So it was actually an irreversible game state. Yeah, I know. Carter loses. Wait. He was 1-0. It was. It's a game loss. Yeah. Not a match loss. It's a game loss. That's one to one. It's a tie. It seems there was a miscommunication to our tournament organizer. Instead of it being one to one, it was two zero. Seth. No, I straight up just. I accidentally played two supporters, and one of them was an ass, so I just scooped up. Wait, are we going game three? Are we going game three? It looks like we're going game three. Hey, Seth. How you doing, man? Um, Seth, the person on the right misplayed so hard that he lost an entire game from the misplay. So, 
basically Carter should have won, but he just misplayed. Yes, Carter should have won. And but then he misplayed now, so now we're hard going that game he three. lost. We're tying. Okay, now the ID. Uh, they're going to choose to tie. Yeah. They're going to choose to tie. There's not enough time for a yeah. game three. That, that was funny. All right. All right, we'll be back. We will be back. Uh, we need to get up.